hi guys welcome back so today i have another valentine's day look and it's on this beautiful smoky super smoked out look um i created today it may be a little intimidating but again you know when it comes down to black smoky eyes it's just a lot of blending and i try i'm gonna try and explain everything as best as i can and this is gonna be a talk through video which is hard for me because i really don't do those i prefer doing voiceovers I don't know why, but I'm, I'm trying and I'm working at it. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope I don't bore you through this. But again, I try to explain everything as best as I can. So if you want to see how I got this look, then stay tuned. I'm going to prime my eyes with this Wet n Wild Take On The Day eyeshadow primer. This is the Frigate primer. This primer, it's like glue. So whatever you put on top of this, it's not going anywhere. So make sure you place it where exactly where you want it. Because if you end up putting eyeshadow on top of it, it's going to be very hard to get rid of. Today I'm going to be using this Morphe 35N palette. And I'm going to start with this light brown shade here in the corner. I'm going to place this shade on my crease because I want to use this as my transition color. Since we're going to have all that black, we need a base and a transition color just so it blends out nicely and you don't have these crazy harsh lines. Next, I'm going to be placing the NYX um, Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean on my, what is this, my mobile lid, but I'm going to keep it pretty low. I'm not going to go up too high with it because I'm going to blend it out with the brush. Try not to go too far up. And I'm sorry, I can't talk. It's so hard for me to talk when I'm doing this because I normally don't talk through my makeup sessions, especially when I'm alone. But that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to grab a brush and I'm going to blend those edges. I'm gonna blend them before I add the black eyeshadow just so it's a little bit easier to keep blending because if I put the black eyeshadow on right now on those edges they may set and I'll probably be here till tomorrow trying to blend those lines out so that's why I'm going in now with this brush okay now that that's pretty blended I'm going to go in place the black eyeshadow right on top of that. I'm just gonna pack it on. By the way, I'm using, still the Morphe palette, now I'm using the black on this corner over here. I know I'm all over the place, but I'm not used to doing these talk through videos. So just bear with me. All right, now that it's packed on, I'm going to go back to the brush and blend those edges once again. Try not to go too far up, just stay within the lines. Okay, now from the same palette, the 35N Morphe palette, I'm going to go in with this shade right here and blend some more. Now that that looks kind of good, we're going to go in with this shade up here and I'm going to place this on my brow bone. By the way, I love, love, love this palette. I've had it for quite a while. As you can see, I've done some major damage on most of these eyeshadows because it's an amazing palette. Let's just blend that out. Alright, so now I'm going to take ColourPop's So Quiche. Oh my god, this shade is gorgeous. Can you see that? Okay, 
So I'm gonna take Soul Quiche with my ring finger. I'm gonna pop it right in the center. And now for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go back to that NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and the brush that I used to set everything. And I'm just gonna take some and put it on my lash line. This is gonna be hard to do and <laughs> stay in frame. Just try and keep it really close to the lash line. Hold on, I can't look at that mirror. I gotta look at another mirror. This one's better. Try and stay really close to your lash line because well, I'm going to because I don't want the black to come all the way down. I'm also going to try and place this in my waterline on the inner corner and the outer corner of my eye. Actually, you know what? Just put it on the whole thing. I think that's what I did on the other eye. And I came a little too far down, so I'm going to grab a wipe. And I'm going to try and wipe that off. This is exactly why I did not put that um, Wet n Wild Primer on my bottom lash line. Because I would have, I would not be able to do this. Because it will not be coming off. There we go, it's a little tighter. Um, I'm gonna set that with the same black eyeshadow. So basically I'm doing the same thing on the bottom lash line that I did on the top with the exception of that shade, that reddish brown shade. I'm not gonna put that on the bottom. I'm gonna use the lighter shade of first my transition color to blend this but I'm going to do it after I put my concealer on all right so off camera I went ahead and did my eyeliner lashes and I concealed so now we're ready for the next step which is putting the color pop so quiche in the center of my bottom lash line here I'm gonna go again with my ring finger and I'm just gonna place this right here, right on top of the black. And it's okay if you get it on your lash line and your lashes because I like the way it looks. So I'm gonna keep it on the lashes. Now I'm going to go back to the transition color and I'm going to blend this down here. Jack it up. With this Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics All Over Glow Luminizer Gel. Jeez. This right here, I received this in my BoxyCharm. And I'm going to place this on my inner tear duct area. And guys, I'm so sorry if I'm boring you because I have no idea what to say. Like I said, I don't normally do these talk through videos. So, I get stuck. And I don't know what the heck to say. Alright, on top of that gel um, luminizer, I'm going to put the Mary Luminizer right on top of it. So I can get a kick-ass inner tear glow. What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day this year? Me, I have no clue. I have no plans as of yet, so I have no idea. But I hope I get to wear one of these Valentine's Day looks. Okay, for my highlight, I'm going to do the same thing, but I want to put the blush on first. So, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to do the highlight first. So, I'm going to take this 
the same Jelly Pong Pong Luminizer and I'm just going to tap it on my cheekbone. And now I'm going to go with the Mary Luminizer right on top of it. Alright, so now for the blush, I'm going to use Cabana Boy by The Balm. I'm going to get my brush. This is a really pigmented blush, so just tap the excess off in the back of your hand. And then you can tap your cheek. Okay, now what am I going to do on the lips? I think I'm going to go with some pinky nude. So I'm going to go in with this Essence Lip Liner called... What are you called? Ooh, where are you? In the nude. And an oldie but a goodie, which is Rimmel's Airy Fairy. So this is it you guys I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching um, I hope I didn't bore you through this talk through video it was a little hard but hey I'm trying I don't normally do these talk through videos but um, yeah this is the final look I hope you like it it's super smoked out it's beautiful I love it it may be a little intimidating for some but if you give it a try you may love what you end up with. Again, I really do like it. So, until next time, you guys. Uh, thank you for watching and hugs and kisses. Bye.